Hey there everyone! In today's video we're going to have some fun creating a logo animation in Filmora Mobile using masking and keyframes. And before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Let's get started on your new project. First, bring in your logo by importing it. Next, head to the menu and select the scale option to change the aspect ratio to 16 by 9. You can adjust the size of your logo easily by using two fingers. Once you're happy with it, go back to the menu and select PIP, picture in picture. Then, scroll down to find black solid color under the other options. Adjust the scale of the solid color to cover the entire screen. Just use your two fingers again. After that, you can choose a mask. A mirror mask works great too. Don't forget to reverse the mask, and you can adjust its scale and rotate it to 45 degrees for the perfect look. Then use this point to add feathers to the edges for a nice soft touch. Once you've done that, head back to your starting point and adjust the position of the solid color. Don't forget to add a keyframe right there. Now, move your playhead to the end and shift the solid color further to the right. After that, take a look at your preview to see how it's coming along. Next, let's make a copy of the logo and stretch out the solid color a little bit. Now, it's time to add some flair with the transition. Just click on the intersection point and choose the glitch transition, or any other transition that sparks your creativity. Finally, be sure to adjust the transition duration to make it feel just right. Let's make the intro even more exciting by adding some sound effects. First, click on Sound FX, and in the search bar, type Glitch and hit Enter. You'll see a bunch of glitch sound effects pop up. Feel free to click on any of them to preview, and once you find one you like, just add it to your timeline. Remember to adjust its position to line up perfectly with the intersection point. Next, let's look for an intro sound effect. Head back to the sound FX section, search for intro, and add that sound to your timeline as well. And there you have it, your final video is all set. Enjoy. Dive into the amazing world of creativity with Filmora Mobile. Unleash your potential and explore endless possibilities. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and smash that bell icon. Can't wait to see you in the next video.